Hello everyone, this is Yadig Reddy. Welcome to my channel HVR Tutorials. If you are interested in learning more about automation testing with different programming languages and tools, please visit my channel. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now and press the bell icon to get a notification whenever I upload a new video. In this session, we are going to discuss about basics of Windows automation. First, what is a Windows Automation? Windows Automation is a process of running the Windows application without a human intervention to reduce the human errors. So we were saying that we are going to run Windows application. So what is mean by Windows application? Windows application is a program that is designed to run on Microsoft Windows operating system. So for example, calculator, notepad, wordpad, these all are called as windows applications. Also remember, windows applications are also called as desktop applications. To automate any windows application, first we should be able to access the information of the elements in that application. Every application will have some elements. All we need to do is access that information then only we can perform the operations on those elements. So for example here I am taking an application. Here you can see the application screen. So in this application this text box, checkbox, radio button, drop down and button. So these all are called as elements in an application. So all we need to do is we should be able to access the information of these elements. So how are we going to do this? For this Microsoft is giving a framework called UI automation. So what this UI automation is? The UI automation is the new accessibility framework for Microsoft Windows which is available in all Microsoft Windows operating systems. So what this framework does? This framework will provide the programmatic access to the UI elements on the desktop. Yes, you may have a doubt like what if my application is not installed on the desktop? What if it is installed in D drive or E drive? So what happens in that case? Basically in Microsoft Windows operating system, if you open any application, whichever is installed or is not installed, the application will be opened on top of desktop. That means you should be able to access the elements present in that application. Yes. So it's just like, for example, if you consider a web application, whatever you see on the web application screen, all the elements are present inside a body tag. Yes. Just like that in a Windows application, all the applications will be opened on desktop. So irrespective of the location where you install the application, you should be able to access the elements in that application on desktop. So to access the information of the elements, Microsoft also provided some tools such as screen readers, which expose the properties and behavior of these elements. With UI automation libraries, you can access every piece of the UI in your application as a automation element. So every text box, check box or drop down or label or whatever it is, we can access it as an automation element. UI automation framework is providing three libraries out of which first one is MSAA, Microsoft Active Accessibility. Second one is UIA2 and third one is UIA3. So out of which MSAA that is Microsoft Active Accessibility is obsolete. So we are not using MSAA anymore. So then what is a UIA2? UIA2 is mainly designed for Windows 32 and WinForms applications. So this UIA2 was the earlier version of UIA3. So during that time they were supporting Windows 32 and WinForms applications. So UIA2 will perfectly work with Win32 and WinForm applications and it will not suitable for Windows Store apps and some of the WPF applications. Then Microsoft has introduced UIA3. 
so what this uia3 will do uia3 will support windows store apps wpf applications and winform applications also but the only problem with uia3 is it works excellent with wpf and windows store apps but it is having a little problem when it comes to windows 32 and winform applications so some of the controls like sliders or any touch related controls will not work properly in uia3 so based on the application type we should choose ui automation library that's all for today's session so i hope now you have some basic idea about windows automation i hope you enjoy this session if you like this video please hit the like button and also share it with your friends thanks for watching bye bye